Hey guys, welcome to Gaze Garage. Today I'm gonna show you how to use a dial board gauge. We're gonna take it out of the box. I'm gonna show you how to put it together and we're gonna use it on, in this case, I got an engine block, so I'm gonna show you how to use it. By the time you finish with this video, you should be able to use a dial board gauge for whatever reason you gotta use it. So let's get it. So this one is the Neotech dial board gauge. You can pick up this board gauge from Amazon for around $57.99. Depending on the color, the price will change but you'll get all the different rods for whatever size you want to use which it could be anything from two inches to six inches so the first thing we want to do is to take the dial indicator out of the safety casing that they put it on uh, you can do that by taking the two phillips screws um, and don't throw these away because this is probably the best place to put it back when you're not going to use it and you're going to store it. So the first thing we're going to do is to install the indicator to the measuring arm and you got to make sure that it's in contact so you can start your indicator, turn it on and normally what I like to do is to push it until you can see 1000 of an inch and then right there you can tie it to the measuring arm once you do that then you can zero your indicator on some of the papers that come in the box you can find a chart that is used to tell you which uh, measuring probe you can use for depending on the size that you're going to be working with on my case, it's gonna be um, a little shorter than four inches. So now that we have selected our probe, we're gonna take this cap off. We're going to insert our probe and we just want to finger tight these. They don't have to be super tight. Don't use pliers or anything. You just have to be finger tight. And that's it. Our board gauge is pretty much put together. They claim the accuracy of this dial board gauge to be five tenths of a thousand of an inch. So to give you an example, here's one of the finest pages. This is a Bible and we're going to take a measurement now as you can see it doesn't even measure two thousand of an inch okay and the accuracy of this thing is supposed to be five tenths of a thousand of an inch just to give you an idea you will want or you will need a outside micrometer in this case i'm using a caliper micrometer and that number that you see right there 3.898 that is the bore size of um my cylinder block that's what i'm going to be working with this is the tricky part you want to set your micrometer to whatever size you're going to be working with and once you got in place you want to find the highest number because based on the angle of it it's going to give you a different number you don't want to be inaccurate with this um, so once you find the highest number you are going to zero your dial board gauge now that our dial board gauge is set to 3.898 we can go to whatever board you're trying to measure in this case it's going to be a cylinder board for my engine block and what you want to do is you want to insert it and you want to again push it back and forth until you find the highest number which in this case is going to go to 20 thousand of an inch for cylinders you want to measure up and down and side to side you want to measure the top the middle and you want to measure the bottom of it 
Now here's a different way to do it. We know that 3.898 is our bore size, which if we go 20 over, is gonna give us our new bore size, which will be 3.918. So this time we're gonna zero our live bore gauge to 3.918. And now we're gonna take another measurement. In this case, it should not give us 20 over, it should give us zero because that's our new bore size. As you can see here, it's not going to zero, it's going to five tenths of a thousand of an inch, which is perfectly fine for what it is. It's gonna be some margin of error on either when they hone it or bore the block or whatever it is. Here is another cylinder and different angle. We're gonna try this again. We're gonna push the dial board back and forth until we find the highest number, which is gonna be the measurement for that cylinder board. And in this case, we got, again, five tens of a thousand of an inch. That's what I'm getting. So that's it for today's guys. I hope you learned something new. If you like the video, don't forget to give me those thumbs up.